Sam in the Atherton Tablelands here at Mount White Citrus Farm. We're going to pick some lemons here. Alright, so I got my picking bag on and now it's time to pick. Here on this farm specifically, the season is from January to March. So that's the time when the farmers are full on picking all these lemons for the rest of the time. But it's not only three months where these farmers are working. These farmers are working 24-7, 365 days to water, fertilise and make sure these plants are perfect for us to eat. Okay, so when we go to a grocery store, all we see is lemons but even in lemons there are so many different varieties and different kinds so this is the Villa Franca tree the, this tree specifically has been around for 30 years and it's one of the oldest varieties of lemon tree the one next to it is Eureka it's a different kind and you can see the different shapes in the lemon this one's about 15 years old okay, so this is one of the Eureka lemon beautiful yellow around it beautiful little point at the end this is absolutely beautiful Rub your fingers on it and smell your fingers. Oh, so aromatic. So this one here, this is the Villa Franca. Beautiful. Different shape to the Eureka, but still absolutely beautiful. A little bit green on this side, but that's okay. Okay, so here we are, a little bit further down the farm. And this is a different variety again. This is the Lisbon variety. So this is the most common one that you see in grocery stores. This one has little spikes that run through the branches. So it's famous for the spikes. Oh. That's beautiful. A little bit, the shape's different again, but unique in its own way. All right, so here, there's five or six really good ones up here. So I'm going to pick these Okay, so now we're back from White Hill Citrus Farm on the Tableland, and now it's time to make our lemon sorbet back here in my kitchen. So for this recipe, you only need two lemons. So we've got our lemons behind us. I'm gonna pick two. So a red and two thick, right? One big one for the juicing, and then one for garnish and the rind. Perfect, let's get to it. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you buy your lemons at the supermarket or if you collect them at a farm you still need to wash them because on the lemons they have an outside bit of dirt that you need to get off. Right, so just cold water, just wash it nicely with your hands. Just rub it to get all that outside grime off. Right, those look lovely and fresh. Awesome to go. Okay, so the ingredients we need for this lemon sorbet, obviously are two beautiful washed lemons, 100 ml of water, 100 ml of milk, 50 grams of sugar, and two tablespoons of honey. So about a tablespoon like that. Okay, so first off, we're gonna use our small lemon to make our garnish. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna cut off the top, right, just nicely. So I'm using a nice little paring knife, a small knife, nice and easy to use. So I'm gonna make little rings, so about five, millimeters, I'm gonna use that one's not good, but then five millimeter rings, okay? Nice, small rings. So about four or five will do. I'm just gonna cut about four. One, two, three. Okay, four. So that is gonna be our garnish. What we're gonna do with that, we're gonna make our syrup. So with our syrup, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna peel some of this rind off. All right, so about three, about three will work. All right, so two there, three. All right, that can be put to the side. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut this nicely. Nice and thin. I'm gonna use my big knife, put it all together. All right, and nice and thin. Just go through it, nice and easy. You wanna get as thin as you can get it. All right, just going through it. So this is gonna be put with our syrup to make our garnish. All of this flavor is gonna infuse 
the jar of honey that we're going to use next. Alright, so that's nice and thin. You can go through a little bit more, it doesn't really matter. It's nice and thin, nice and small. Okay, that's done. Alright, so we're going to put that into our saucepan. Into our saucepan. With our three or four different... So I'm just going to use three. Our three thin slices of lemon, so four, sorry. And then our honey. So we need just one tablespoon of honey to go to make our syrup. Okay, we got our syrup ready to go. I'm gonna bring it over to the stove now. Right, I'm gonna light the match. Start my heat, a nice low heat. Okay, put on the flame, a low heat, bring it down. Okay, so what, this syrup is gonna start sizzling and bubbling up, and then all that flavor is gonna infuse and make the lemon slices almost solid and nice and crispy for our garnish. Okay, so after a couple minutes, on a low heat, it's starting to bubble around the outside and starting to become a syrup. It's all that, see it's starting to bubble. Okay, so you want to be really careful, you want to keep watching it because it can quickly burn. You want to keep your eye on it. Right now it's bubbling nicely along the sides and this, you should feel or just see when the skin starts to, to become a little bit softer. So that's done, put that to the side. Okay, so now while the syrup is cooling, we're gonna use our big lemon to make our cups. So we're gonna use this for our cup to put our sorbet inside. So what I'm gonna do first, we're just gonna top and tail it each side off. Nice and easy, Take, just be generous. Don't be too skimpy on how much you take off, that's a nice amount. Since this is such a large lemon, I'm gonna cut in half and make two cups with it. So nice and straight in half. Okay, first one. What you wanna do, just nice and gently with the knife, okay? Just on the inside of that white bit, outside, watch what you're doing, okay? Be careful. Okay, we go through one more time, just get the angle, okay? All right, that's all right. Now, just nice and gently around the lemon. Okay, so now we're gonna use the inside of the lemons that we just cut for our juice, for our sorbet. So, you're gonna have to get your hands dirty. As long as your hands are clean, no bacteria is gonna be passed. All right, so nice. You're just gonna squeeze it, all right, through a sieve. So you don't want any seeds coming through. Just nice and gently get all that beautiful lemon juice out. So that is a nice amount of juice for our sorbet. Beautiful. Okay, so our water and our sugar is going nicely. Our sugar has dissolved, so now you cannot see any granules of sugar in there. No granules at all. So you just want to whisk that out for a bit. All right, now it's all dissolved, so we're going to turn off the heat and put it to the side. Okay, so this dissolved sugar in the water has been cooling for about five to seven minutes now. You don't want to make the mistake of adding your lemon juice and your milk when the solution is still warm. What's going to happen, this milk is going to curdle from the warm sugar and water and it's not going to be good. So, keep it cool, no heat, no heat on. What I'm going to do, I'm going to add my lemon juice. In we go. And I'm going to add, whisk that. So incorporate nicely and then add my milk. In we go. All right. Whisk it. Make sure you whisk it nicely so there's no so it mixes nicely. 
That's it. Okay, so that's gonna be nice to make our sorbet. Okay, so it's nicely incorporated now. This mix is absolutely beautiful. You can try it now. It's really good. It's really starting to taste like beautiful sorbet. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we have to put it in the container and then put it in the freezer. So what I got in the container here is the leftover lemon rind from the syrup that we, that we made before with the honey. So I just put that in the bottom for a little bit of texture, a little bit of color. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pour our mixture into the container. Nice and gently. Perfect. Okay, just any container will do. That is beautiful. Now, a lid on it. Okay, nice and gentle. Gonna take it over to our freezer. In the bottom compartment, it doesn't matter where you put it, in we go. So that, you gotta leave that in the freezer for about eight to nine to 10 hours, for as long as you can really get it. But every two hours, you gotta mix it at least two or three times. Okay, so you gotta mix it to make sure that it doesn't become lumpy or icy. Okay, so our mixture's done, it's been about nine or 10 hours. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna plate it. We've got our cups, our lemon cups that we have here. I'm just gonna make a ball. Don't worry about scooping it, just be, just do it and then put it in nicely. Just make a nice ball, mix it up and then put it, plate it into your cups. Beautiful, nice consistency. Okay, now our syrup that we had before made by these lemon rings. Okay, what we're gonna do a couple of those nicely on the plate on our cups. You want it almost sticking out of the lemon of the sorbet, so it has that nice effect. And then our mint, a couple of pieces, one here. One on each one. Beautiful. Okay, so I got my hole here again to taste my sorbet. So what I'm gonna do, I'll give you some bro. So here we go. It's melting, come on, quick. So we got to try. So good. It's so good for a hot night like this. It's so refreshing. What do you reckon? Because what, what we did, we cooked the skin. So the skin's actually able to be even. It's nice and solid. Nice and crispy, yum. Okay, so we finished eating our ice cream. <sighs> so refreshing. These lemons came from the farm when we picked them today. So you have to think these lemons are fresh, just picked today off the tree. What do you reckon? What do you think? It was great. It was really yeah, so coming into summertime now in Australia, here in, um, in Australia, it's coming December and January. So ice cream is perfect for hot, night, hot nights like these and hot days. Perfect for your family. Alright, so thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. See you guys. Have a good one.